my name is Kathy. I work at the Hamilton East Public Library and I'm also a master gardener in Hamilton County. I wanted to show you um, springtime getting my gardens ready to plant in and um, I've got a new tool here that I checked out from the um, Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. So um, it's really cool. You, they've got lots of different things that you can check out from them. They're free to use and um, tools that I would never be able to afford to buy myself. This tool is a broad fork. Good golly. Okay, so if you can see it here, um, it's got a bar that goes across here and two widely spaced handles. And it has these um, tines, which are, oh, at least a good foot deep. So, um, so what I'm going to use this for is I'm going to use it to kind of fluff up my soil in my raised bed. You can do this, um, it doesn't have to be a raised bed, but just in your garden bed. Um, when people use rototillers in order to get their soil ready um, for the spring, they um, kill basically everything that's in there, all of the worms and, and that sort of stuff. And you're mixing all of the layers of the soil into a, a giant tumult. And really what you want to do is you want to keep the layers of your soil intact, um, not killing all the worms and keeping the bacteria and the fungi and all of that sort of stuff where they belong in your layers of soil. So a broad fork is one way to kind of um, aerate your soil and at the same time maintain the soil levels. The additional benefit of this as opposed to using a rototiller, um, if the soil is um, wet when you rototill, then basically you mix it up and you have like concrete, which is not very good. Um, with a broad fork, if the soil is damp because you haven't mixed the layers up, um, you're still going to be okay. Although you never want to do any work in the garden when it's soaking wet. So this is how a broad fork works. Um, and in a raised bed, and actually even just on the ground, you don't want to walk on the garden bed where you're going to be planting things because you're compacting the soil. And that just makes it harder for all of the vegetables to grow in there. So you put the, your broad fork in the ground and then you just step on it. And if you are, um, if you are not thin, uh, if you got a little weight to you, it makes it easier. It goes down. You can see I kind of wiggle back and forth. And then you pull it back. And when you pull it back, it kind of lifts up that soil a little bit. And then you pull it out. And you do that a few inches further away from that. And the first couple ones that you do... There is an airplane going overhead right now. See how this is lifting my soil apart, but it's not breaking my layers. So, and the other thing is, if you've ever just used a shovel to turn over your garden, this is like a million times easier than using a shovel. You can tell I am not a very young person, but this is something that, um, that anybody can do. And when it's done, you will have a garden that looks more like this. So everything has been kind of fluffed up um, and I haven't, I haven't destroyed the soil layers. The worms are still alive. And this is gonna be, I'll take a garden rake and kind of smooth it over. And this is gonna be fine to plant in then when I'm ready. Do you wanna mention, if that's too much for me, my neighbor was saying, well, that's just, I don't wanna hop on one of those things. She has this really nice garden fork you can see, like the broad fork, um, it has flat tines that are wide, so it's not a pitchfork, and it's a convenient size. And you can also use this in order to kind of fluff your soil up, and it's not quite as um, large as this. So, and you can find these at any store or borrow them from your neighbor. So, um, broad fork, getting the soil ready in the spring. Um, and again, I borrowed it from the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. So you might check it out. Happy gardening to you.